Welcome to the 360 Sports Network, Road to the Final Four Special. In this podcast series, we break down every conference tournament to see who will get the auto bids to the big dance, the NCAA tournament. You can keep tabs on our website, 360sportsnetwork.com, for all the latest updates and, of course, the bubble predictions in our last week before Selection Sunday. And you can follow us on Twitter to be informed for when your team's conference tournament is being discussed. I'm James Dotson, and tonight we want to look at the MAC conference. The Mid-American conference really appears to be wide open at this point. And overall, the best team in the conference, at least when you look at record, is the number three seed. The top team from the West Division of the MAC has a losing record, and is actually the number five team overall. While the top seed in the the conference has struggled down the stretch, and the number two seed has had back-and-forth winning and losing streaks all year. Everything is up in the air for the Mid-American Conference. Let's start with the number three seeded Bobcats. At 24-7 and seven this year, they have the best overall record in the conference. They have five players averaging nine points or more per game. And that can make the Bobcats a very tough team to beat because you don't know who to face. They're a team where every player is a threat to put the ball in the, in the hoop. But they scare me because when one player has an off day, it seems like the entire team follows suit. And they all they all build off each other. So when one guy struggles, they all struggle. And that just doesn't bode well, especially in a big tournament. They've had too many poor shooting nights for my liking, so I don't see them going through and winning the MAC. Well, how about the top-seeded Akron Zips? They are a very deep team. Nine players average over 16 minutes per game. But that also means that the top scorer averages just over 10 points a game. So the lack of a go-to guy in crunch time could prove tough for the Zips. That and the fact they have lost three of their last five games makes me hesitant to pick the Zips as the conference champion. One of those last three losses for Akron came to Buffalo, who is the number two seed. And they are actually my pick to represent the MAC in the NCAA tournament. Their 6-foot, 10-inch senior, Mitchell Watt, and their 6-7 sophomore, Javon McCrea, have led the Bulls this year with over 15 points and 7 rebounds per game each. No team will out-rebound the Bulls. They're actually 4th in the country in rebounds per game. And no team in the MAC can match up against those two big guys. So I see Buffalo snagging the automatic bid as a result of their inside play. Well, that's it for the MAC Tournament Breakdown on the 360 Sports Network Road to the Final Four. You can follow our website, 360sportsnetwork.com, to see all the latest Bracket Buster information, and of course on Twitter, at 3S Network, to hear all of our latest updates, and of course, the bubble predictions as they come down. For 360 Sports Network, I'm James Dobson. Have a good night.